Hi, this is Laura Dubois, music director at Unity of the Valley in Eugene, Oregon. Welcome to our music release for the end of August in the year of 2020. I have two announcements to make before I introduce the music. The first is that starting in September, more of our extended music team is going to be participating in the live stream services, which are Sundays at 1030 at the Unity of the Valley Facebook page. So on the first and third Sundays, you will see our music team there. And then on the second and fourth Sundays, we will continue to do Connecting from the Heart. My second announcement is one of deep felt gratitude. First, I want to thank Classic Pianos of Oregon, Portland, Oregon, because they donated for four years the grand piano that's in our sanctuary. They lent it to us at absolutely no charge. And that was a wonderful, wonderful gift. When the pandemic struck, they found themselves in the situation of needing to sell that piano. And wonderfully, we had donors step forward that made that purchase possible and were able to keep that piano at Unity of the Valley. We have some donors that pay every month and we have other donors that have given a one-time gift. And to all of you, I say thank you. Now, it so happens that one of our rather major donors this week found herself in a situation that she can no longer participate. And I want to tell her, thank you so much for all the gifts you've given us. And you were one of the major people that made it possible for us to have the courage to undertake this purchase. So thank you and we bless you and deeply appreciate all that you've given. When I heard that news, I didn't even have a minute to get worried about what I was going to do because a miracle happened. I learned in that very same conversation that another donor, an anonymous donor, had set up an endowment to benefit our music ministry at Unity of the Valley. What that means is they donated a large sum of money and we will benefit from the interest of that money starting in July of 2021. And that gift will keep growing and growing and going on and on into the future. It's basically a, a miracle that came at just the right time. It will make it possible for us to smoothly go from one plan to the next. And even though we don't see any of those funds until 2021 in July, because of you and all your other donations, we will get by until then. So thank you to everyone in the community and thank you especially to these new anonymous donors that, that started that endowment for us. I'm blown away, I'm in awe. I'm, I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude and joy. So our musical journey this week begins with a hauntingly beautiful piece for piano and cello written by Norwegian composer Ola Jelo. And I love this piece because it starts out in a sad way and it helps us to, gives us space to work through those darker emotions. And yet at the end, you can hear a ray of hope beckoning. Our second piece is A Hole in a Flute. This is a poem written by 14th century Persian poet Hafiz. And I actually composed the music. The poem itself says, I am a hole in a flute that the Christ breath moves through. Listen to this music. I am a concert from the mouth of every creature in the myriad chorus. I am a hole in a flute that the Christ breath flows through. Listen to this music. That poem means so much to me. I used to keep a copy of it in my notebook to read before I would go out and play concerts because it would remind me that it's not about what I'm about to do. I don't have to go out and prove anything. I don't have to be afraid. I just have to open my mind and my heart to let the spirit of the divine flow through me. It's a wonderfully calming feeling to think of that before you go out on stage to perform. So one night after one of those concerts, I went home and sat down to the piano and this music basically just came to me. I am not in the habit of composing very much. I've only composed a handful of things in my entire life. But that night, the music, I just heard it and I started playing it and it all developed 
in, in the space of about an hour late that night. And it was an incredible gift. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you have a wonderful week. I'm going to let Donna introduce the third song and I'm sending you my love. Namaste. Hey everyone, it's Donovan. Our song this week is A Hole in a Flute, arranged by Laura Dubois. I love the words and the harmonies and the melody. It's just a really beautiful song. And it reminded me of a quote by Mark Nepo. In every space opened when what we want gets away, a deeper place is cleared in which the mysteries can sing. If we can only survive that pain of being emptied, we might yet know the joy of being sung through. Strangely and beautifully, each soul is a living flute being carved by life on earth to sound deeper and deeper song. So I'm just sending everyone peace and love, and I hope that you're doing well, and I hope you enjoy the music.
sunny sunday kind of i kind of kind of like that you know this is why i like summer you know like every sunday it's gonna be like a pun you know it's always gonna have some laughs over there you know even though they might get old but you know i guess in that case it kind of depends on who you are but to me in my mind at least it's always gonna have some laughs because you know it's just one of those things where you know each day you gotta um make the most of life, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of going down, um, I probably don't even have to mention them to re really, um, you know, we, pe at this point, we already know, um, with the news and, um, everything else, and, you know, it's just, like, at that point where, you know, you just gotta take life one step at a time, keep on going, keep on smiling whenever we can, I know there's always going to be dark days and you know it's 
those dark days where we, you know, push through, you know, figure it out, solve the puzzle. Because that, that's actually probably why everyone hates puzzles, because, like, they're so complicated, man. Like, I've done a lot of puzzles in my day, and, uh, yeah, I never liked them. But, you know, sometimes you can just try to solve them, not give up, and keep living on that, like, sunny day, you know? And, yeah, so I hope that's y'all's goal um, today and every day to, yeah, to just live life and make it the fullest as you can be. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the music. And, you know, I hope y'all, uh, actually, here's the challenge, here's the challenge. Y'all, y'all should, like, make up some jokes. That's, like, that's actually a good challenge right there. Make up some jokes or, like, find jokes online and just, like, say them to, like, I don't know, like, your family members, your friends or whatever. Like, this is something you think. Like, they might not laugh. They might laugh. You never know. But, like... I don't know, to me, jokes, those those always lift up my spirits, because I'm a joker, sometimes. Not for Batman, but, yeah. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you all that challenge. You can take it or not. I hope you do. It kind of be fun. But, yeah. Anyway, so, hope you all enjoy, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hi. I hope you all are doing very well this afternoon. The music that we're about to present on this recording is one that, uh, a, a song that is very meaningful to me, and it goes way back. I first heard it in 1985, I believe it was. It's called Oh Mystery, and it's part of the Paul Winter Consort's Misa Gaia, or Mass for the Earth, is what that means. Well, I went to that at the Holt Center, and as I was sitting there listening to this gorgeous music, Suddenly, this song was sung, and it just pierced right straight into my heart. I couldn't believe that I was hearing a song that said what I felt God was. I had been trying to hone some way of thinking about God for myself, and I really had not found it. had searched in various uh, religions, and just hadn't found it for myself, something that really said it for me until I heard this song. Of course, I didn't know about unity yet then either. And it was just another year or two after that that I did find unity through a friend, and I got the opportunity to sing this song at unity. It was the first song that I sang there. <laughs> so it's really meaningful to me. And I hope that you find it as beautiful and meaningful that it is for me. Catherine playing on it and Paul and Chiante bringing hand drums to it. So thank you so much for listening and being part of our wonderful community. It's part of the mystery of life. Namaste. i
you are alive I feel you all around You are the fire in my heart You are the holy sound You are all of life It is to you
Oh